and we are live. Welcome. How is everybody doing today? So as you see, we are going to be playing Doom 2016. We're going to be uh, starting a new campaign. So we are going to play it on. Let's play it on Ultra Violence. Because I've already played through this game before, a while back, so I want to challenge myself. So let's do Ultra Violence. So how's everyone doing today? Uh, and as of last night, I had actually received a new follower, Pure Sushi. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. We're stuck. Oh, not anymore. I'm free! Oh, shoot. We're gonna change that real quick. i put these at 45 right now. I play with inverted. I don't. I don't know what y'all play with, but I definitely play with inverted. Uh, I think the controls are fine. I don't remember. I'll change them later if I need to change them. We want subtitles. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. I am not colorblind. Thank God. I think I'm going to leave all these here. Alright. There we go. That's much better. Alright. Die, die, die. That's where I was. I was inside that tomb. No, we don't. I like my freedom. I like my freedom. Oh, here we go. You get my armor. No, I'm not traumatized, don't worry. I'm fine. Let me just be in my suit and I'll be totally okay. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna read all those things. 
There's a lot of reading in this game. I think I'll mostly just read up on like the enemies themselves, like strategies on beating them, but like as far as story goes, I already know the story. Glory kill. Let's go. Boom. Like the possessed. Like I already know what they are. But some some of these uh, entries will give you like, you know, strategies on how to beat them. Those I'll read because I don't quite remember how to beat everybody on here. So, bunch of possessed. I also remember this game like gives you challenges throughout like each level. I'll definitely try to do those challenges. I'm going to try and complete as much of this game as I can. That's an imp. I remember him. Yep, that's an imp. <laughs> Smack you with your own hand. <laughs> I remember there's like different glory kills based off of like um, which body part you look at. So like, I thought there was a guy here. Well, anyways. Um, you know, I always thought that was funny. Demonic levels are, are at unsafe levels or whatever. It's like... So there was a safe level before y'all had the shutdown. Alright, well. Anyways, you destroy this thing and a bunch of enemies are going to show up. They're gore nests. I gotta be careful. I'm playing on ultra violence, so... Like that, someone just took 40 from me. Ooh. I missed that shot completely. Probably gonna die here. It's been a while since I've played this. Well, actually, I, pl I started playing this game about six, seven, no, more like five months ago. But then I stopped because I was in the process of moving and I decided to just start over. And now I'm trying to get back into this. I died. Someone was to my right, I saw him. And I remember this game starts off really, really tough, but as you start getting like more equipment and level up, then it gets a lot easier. Kind of like a bunch of other games now I think about it. Like, Devil May Cry would probably be a perfect example of that. It starts off tough, but once you start getting, like, blue orbs to level up your health, and you start getting, like, other abilities, then it's, it just gets a lot easier. This game's no different. It's just... I want to try to get glory kills, because I think you'd get health that way, yeah. There you go. I'm gonna blow up some of these uh, red barrels. I think that's what hurt me that one time when I ran through here. Oops. You know, I just noticed I'm actually getting hurt blowing these up. So let's stand back here. Okay, there we go. I was at 70 and that knocked me down to 45. You don't even have to stand close to them and they still hurt. That's insane. Get some of these armor. 
shards. Armor is really important on this game. All right, let's do this again. I don't know if you shot that or if I blew it up in your face. I mean, I'll take it. Where are you? There's a guy over here. There you go. Oh, he's dead. Come on, give me your health. Broke your neck. Ooh, that was a headshot. Is he dead? Nope. There we go. We did it. <laughs> I might want to... Let me increase my sensitivity a bit. We'll do 55. I don't remember what I had it at before. I think this is fine. I... Yeah, alright. I think this is much better. of every life in this space station. Just in case you didn't know what this game was called. Like you went to GameStop and you picked up a game and you're like, did I, did I buy Doom? Let me just make sure of that. Do I have a map? Oh yeah, that's right, you have a map. I will be checking this map a lot because there's a lot of secrets. If you've ever played any Doom game, you know there's tons of secrets and a lot of them are missable after you get past a certain point, which is probably going to happen to me. I am not the best Doom player in the world. I just love these games to death. But I will be checking that map very often just to try and find every little secret I can, especially if, since I'm playing on Ultra Violence, I'm going to want as much help as I can. <laughs> So like I dropped down, but I recall, like, like I can't get back up here now, but I don't think there's any secrets up there or there were any secrets down there. I think like the game really starts like up here. So there's a PDA. Not really gonna be reading these too much. They're mostly story elements. I already know the story. I'm sure most people do also. I just wanna play through the game. You get to snipe these guys. I actually looked like I was gonna miss that shot. I actually remember I did have some trouble with this part back then. Where are you? Because you can kill these guys, but then when you jump down, imps spawn. Okay, yeah, I missed that shot. There you go. Now imps are going to spawn. I actually tried to get up there. Oh no, not imps. These guys. Possessed soldiers. Oh, there are the imps. Okay. Oh, there's a barrel. Gotta be careful with that. 
Boom. Oh, he's dead. Ah, I forgot one of these. Is he still alive? Give me some health. Dude, okay. Oh, these guys can take take quite a beating. Where's this guy? I hear him, he's over here somewhere. Oh, he's over here. There you are. There's someone to my right. Oh, there are two of them, okay. I guess they're still spawning. All right. All right, that's all of them. Whew. Did that without dying. Happy about that. Last time I tried doing this, I died like five or six times. check are there any secrets here doesn't look like it can't wait till I have the ability to double jump and do all sorts of different skills now later on you'll do these things called like rune trials they're like these little green stones that are floating in air you get them a little later in the game they give you abilities like uh, double jumping and um, being able to pick up ammo from far away or something like that. They're really useful. And you also get like these weapon mod hacks for your guns, which is really cool. Adds a little variety to the game. Like the shotgun, you can uh, have the ability to shoot three uh, charged shots at the same time, or you get like a grenade launcher attachment. It's really cool. I can't wait to start getting some of these skills. We're gonna get this Doom doll up here. This one is blue guy. You get collectibles, you get to view them in the um, the main menu. And if you've ever played the old Doom games you know about key cards and how useful they are to get past certain locked doors. Alright, let's go back over here. Any other secret I'm missing? Oh yeah, and they show up on the map too, like the little Doom doll that I picked up. It shows up white, I think, if you haven't gotten it yet, and orange when you've gotten it. And that'll be really useful when you get like the auto map for the area. Oh, and frag grenades. I recall I'm really bad about not using these because I forget that I have them. I'll try to be a lot better about that. I mean, I'm not going to use them here. Unless I need to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That possessed got mad hops. <laughs> Anything in here? No. And this pistol to use, it says on the bottom right that I have infinite uh, ammo, so that's why I'm using it on these guys, because 
it's of no consequence. You can, I think you can even level this up too, so that way it's quicker and it does more damage. But there's a bunch of these guys in here. So like right here, I guess I'll use a grenade. Boom. And it recha oh, and then it recharges after a while, so it's not like I ran out of grenades. Or you pick that up and I think that gives you instant grenades. So now that I uh, unlock the auto map, I get the map for the whole area. What I don't have, and that's, uh, yeah, these are weapon upgrade points. I don't have any Praetor suit tokens. What I don't have are Praetor suit tokens, which that will allow me to unlock um, more auto map abilities. So like this auto map reveals exploration items in a wider radius around your position. I don't have that right now, so I have to actually like look for like Praetor suit tokens or uh, the weapons drones, which give you weapon mods. And if I recall, there's, yeah, there's a Praetor suit token right here. Oh yeah, and then the game would explain what this was. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here on the item awareness right now. So, now that I did this, I go to the map and there's not a... Doesn't, it shows I don't have a ability or any uh, skill points nearby, so I have to go look. Hey guys, how's it going? Blow this up, get those three. Okay, that's an imp. I guess when you're in the motion of doing glory kills, you're invincible? I'll have to keep that in mind. So let's go down here. Oh, and if you look on the bottom right where it says exploration, there are these two triangles, one of which has like a half orange circle and the other one doesn't. Those are your weapon upgrade points. And I think those are for like every secret that you find, if I'm not mistaken. You'll get like a, a certain amount of secrets you find will give you weapon upgrade points. Uh, one of the elite guards I already found was the Praetor Suit token. So that allows me to upgrade these guys. And then there's field drones, which there's one later in the game, and that allows me to, uh, well, at the moment, I would choose the field upgrade, and then here, with my weapon upgrade points, I can unlock. It's probably better if I show it, but that's basically the gist of what you're doing throughout this game. And so this will give you like uh, your grenades, but I already have a grenade, so I can't really pick it up at the moment. There's an imp right over there. Boom. There you are. Don't want to get slashed by these guys. Ooh, shot him in the butt. I actually don't even need to do those because I have full health. Later on, you'll start getting these challenges, which they do... I think they'll show up here. Yeah, where it says unavailable, you'll get challenges. So, like, there are some that are, like, get 20 kills... Get 20 headshot kills with a pistol or something like that. Or do 20 glory kills from above. And you'll get weapon upgrade points. I think it's weapon upgrade points. I'm not sure if you uh, do those. They're very useful. So you can upgrade your weapon. And now this is a secret door. And if I recall, this is actually a, a Doom Classic secret. Let me see if I can find the switch. Usually there's switches that open doors like these. And they're usually relatively close by to, uh, to um, these doors. So let me blow this up. Usually they're relatively close by. They might require some searching. 
A little soul searching, never hurt anybody. Oh, meant to jump. Yes, you can fall to your death on this game. If you drop down there, you will die. There we go. Let's see. Let's check up here. Poor guy didn't make it. Alright, let's go over here. So like if you see I'm close enough to this field drone that it's showing up on the map that he's there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get him real quick. I don't think the switch will be this far up. It could be, I don't know. Okay, so I have a choice for the shotgun. I have a choice between two. I can either get the charge burst, which allows me to shoot three, three? Three round burst with a tighter spread. Uh, that's really useful against a stronger enemy. I probably wouldn't use it on an imp, as they're showing in the little tutorial video there. I'd probably use it on like a help Aaron or something like that. And then we have the explosive shot, which is the one that I like, where it's basically like a grenade launcher attachment. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Yeah, just punch them. Field drones, yeah, just use little guys. And now, if you hold L2, you can shoot. A grenade shot. There's a little cooldown timer in the form of that red ring. Now if you go to your weapon, I don't have, again, I don't have any uh, weapon skill points, but I would go here and I can uh, up unlock one of these three for the grenade launcher. So like, reduces the recharge time between explosive shots, increase the size of the explosion, removes the loading time for an explosive shot. So, I actually recall being confused by what that meant versus this one. So anyways, yeah, I gotta get these weapon upgrade, uh, weapon skill points, which is what you get by doing challenges and finding secrets, which I'm gonna go back and look for that switch. I feel like it wouldn't be that far away from this door here. It shouldn't be at least. God, I do not remember where this switch was. Oh wait, it's it's in here, that's right. So, okay, so you get this little switch right here. Uh, you push this, or you pull it. And for a guy who's supposed to be super strong, he's having some difficulty. And the door opens, and you get a Doom Classic level. You get weapon skill points every time you find them. So like you see, I got one. Which if you look here, that little one on the bottom right is completely glowing, mean, meaning that I got it. Now, if I find the last secret on this level, then I'll get a weapon upgrade point instantly, since there's only three on this mission. Oh, I went right into that. Oh, and then they just give me tutorials on that there are classic maps on every level. I love finding these. I'm actually gonna die if I'm not careful. Oh. There we go. Now, this is a Doom 2 level, and if I recall, there's a secret in there or a secret over there, and it involves which of these switches I push first. And I forget which one it was in the original game. I wanna say it's this one. Nope, it was this one. There would be a secret in one of these uh, uh, walls. I don't think it, it counts towards the level secrets, but basically you can get like extra health and ammo, which I definitely need both, so dang it. But just cool little uh, Easter eggs, and there, there's one in every level, like I said earlier. So you gotta try and find each and every one of them. They count as secrets. Alright, so let's go back. This was progress past where that field drone was. There's a PTA here. Yeah, beat it up before you pick it up. Armor. Here we go. There's a possessed soldier up there. He was shooting at me. There's also one to the right. 
There he is. Oh, there's a barrel right here. Gotta be careful. <laughs> he got shot. Poor guy. Got betrayed. I think I missed him. I don't think I actually got him. Ooh. That's a guy moving up to me. <coughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? I missed that shot. Alright, checkpoint. I think I got them all. Here that the game could be tricking me and just throwing a checkpoint at me because, you know, it wants to. That's actually happened to me in several video games before where I'll get a checkpoint. It, it was a badly timed checkpoint because someone was still there. Hey, is there something there? No. So let's go. I think I've gotten everything so far up to this point. Actually, I think I found everything but one last secret. So we're going to try and look around for that last secret because I want that weapon skill point. Birchwood reminds me, I did get one. So let's choose... I'm going to do this one. All right. So the next upgrade will cost three weapon skill points. And then the one after that, once you get three, will cost five. And, that, and if I recall, that's just for one segment. If I were to go to the other one, like this one, it's still one. Which I didn't even look at these when I picked, but whatever. You'll eventually get them. If you, I think there is just the exact amount of weapon skill points for every upgrade in this game. So if you miss one, I think it's gone for good. It's not, you know, life or death, except for maybe on the higher difficulties. But I'm playing on ultra violent, which is difficult, but not unnecessarily so. So if I miss like a few skill points, then I'm I'm not gonna cry about it. Although I am a completionist in some way, so it's kind of like, oh, really? And then it'll bug me for like the entire game. <laughs> I, I actually don't know if there's a new game plus on this game. If there is, then maybe I could go back and find whatever I missed. Like with Uncharted, when you're looking for the treasures. Where's this guy? Oh, there he is. There's a guy right here. Let's use a shotgun from five miles away. I'll totally hit him. Is this guy still alive? There you go. Man, how many hit shots are you going to take? Ow. Here, have I? Doom doll! And that was also the last secret on this mission. So I got a, a weapon upgrade and I got a Doom doll, which is a uh, classic guy, and I didn't see him. Oh well. Oh shoot, I'm in a really bad spot for this fight. He still hit me. There's still someone else. So I found all the secrets, I found all the secrets, I found all the Doom Dolls. So yeah, I could just complete the mission. I shot the wrong one. <coughs> Where's this guy? I hear someone. You're just these guys. But I do need help, so. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Gotta be careful. There we go. He's a deader. He died. -ed.
You're just standing there. Oh, you, you hit me. Oh, I didn't even get to do a glory kill on him. Some health. Give me all three health from that one little pickup. Let's check over here. Now, I mean, like, now, even though I did find everything on the exploration thing on the bottom right, there could still be weapons that they won't tell you is there. Um, there could, I, I think every Doom doll is hidden by a secret, so I think I found all the Doom dolls on this one, but I think weapons can just be out and about, and you can just find them, so it's still worth exploring. Like I remember when I was playing through this a couple of months back, that there's a double-barreled shotgun, or a super shotgun as we like to call it. Uh, it's just hanging out in some, uh, um, catwalk, just out in the middle of nowhere. And it was just like, oh, you found it. Well, here you go. You can also get a chainsaw. I think the next level you get a chainsaw. And what that does is it's an instant kill against an enemy. And you also get ammo if you kill an enemy with it. Whereas glory kills, you get health if you kill somebody. Oh, shoot. This is an imp. Oh! Give me that health, please. Come on! Alright, I just got ammo for that too. Where is he? Oh, you're right here. You were behind me. Terrible shot. Come here. Okay, he's dead. There's someone on this catwalk up here. Probably should blow this up so he doesn't shoot me by mistake. Not by mistake, but he shoots that instead of me. Where's this guy? There you are. Been chasing you all over the place. God. I think there is fall damage in this game, but I think it's like quite a bit of a drop before you start getting hurt. Because if you drop from a certain height, it'll say impact compensation. But I, th but I think that after a while, it actually starts to hurt. And obviously there's, there are, uh, death pits too so you got to watch out for that like over there that's a death pit but further in the game they start popping up on like regular catwalks and you got to like be careful when you jump or fight or something like that oops oh man i haven't played the original doom games in so long did they have fallen i think they had death pits in the original doom games No, I don't think they did, but they would have like lava pits at the bottom of certain death pits and you just like, you constantly get leached until you die. Quake had death pits. This armor. I haven't played Quake in forever too. I think I've only played the first Quake. I've never played any of the sequels. No, I take that back. When uh, we had a 360 a while back, we had Quake 4 with it. And I never did beat that game. I don't know if it was because I didn't like it or if I just didn't have the time. But I did play a bit of Quake 4. And I just don't, I don't remember too much of it, unfortunately. Alright, so I think this is the end of the first mission. So let's see what else is hidden. Get some health. There's armor. I don't need any more armor. Actually, you know what? I think I'm good. Let's go. Hmm. This counts as an accident-free day, I see. Alright, that's the end of the first mission. I actually got a text. Let me check this real quick. Try again. 
I'm online now. Alright, so that mission only took me 40 minutes. That's pretty good. Alrighty, so. Um, I will be right back, actually. Alrighty, I am back, and uh, let's continue. Always remember to stay hydrated, folks. Press X to continue. Know your enemy. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that when completed will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Alright, so these are those challenges I was talking about earlier. So, like, I have to kill two of the possessed with one trigger pull from the shotgun. That's not too tough, especially since I have the grenade launcher attachment. I think that counts. Uh, variety is the spice, so I have to perform five different glory kills on the possessed. So, like, the diff different types of glory kills. So, like, there are legs, arms. You could smash them in the head, things like that. And then I gotta find three secrets, which there are eight secrets on this mission. Three uh, Praetor suit tokens, one field drone, and an Argent cell, which Argent cells increase your health, armor, and something, I think your ammo capacity. All right, so let's discover the cause. Okay, so that's just Vega. So like, let's get some glory kills off of these guys. Well, that's not one of them, but... I mean, that was a glorious kill, but... Well, that's one. Oh, shoot. Oh, you got in my way. V. Okay, so it only works on the possessed, which are those zombie-like dudes. Low power. Ah, wow, there's a lot of them down there. So I have to go through here. 
All right, so let's shoot you in the leg. And uh, go for the leg, which is, that's another one. Go for the leg here. Uh, I think that was more of the back. I don't know if I can get the the head stomping one. I think I had to get the double jump for that one. So there you go. I got that one. So it gives you a weapon skill point, which uh, is one of them. So that's cool. Now I have to get like a double kill with um, can't use that with the shotgun. Ah, eh, he shot back. Right. Power has been restored. I believe in honesty, especially now. In what will be your final moments in this world? All the moments. The human sacrifices, the help, the demons. It's all true. My sisters and brothers, be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside them, just as I will, in what will become the new world that they create for us. Starting now. No, I don't think so. Can I get up there? I can. There's something over here. Sure you do. Ooh, give me that. Oh, that's a secret. I don't need this. Or is this just it? My sisters and brothers be thankful. You will be the first. You will have a seat alongside right, well. them just as I will. And what will become the new world that they create for us. Uh, that was fairly loud for being so far away. So then we got the map. The whole map of this level. And this level is pretty huge. A lot of the maps on this game are pretty long. Like a mission will take about an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour sometimes. Right. Dude, I could still hear her from all the way over here. All right, so we got a bunch of guys down here. Is it imps or possessed? Okay, so if I could just find Two possessed together and just blast them. There they are. Ooh, wow, okay. He survived. You know, that's probably on a speaker system. Oh, yeah. Should probably get that check, buddy. Shot the ground right in front of him. I'm missing my shots. He's dead. Hey guys. Where's this guy? There he is. Ooh. That was a trick shot you tried doing on me. Also, I ran out of armor, so let's go and pick this up. That's 40. Nice. Was I supposed to shut that monitor off, or does that just keep going? Oh, 
Oh, you know what? This is another one of those secrets, right? Yeah, so there's a switch nearby. It's probably up there. Now. I definitely can't make that jump. Nope. That's a bottomless pit. You gotta be careful with that. Oh no, you can make that jump though. There you go. There it is, right here. Hurry! <laughs> Ah, there we go. The demons. The demons. Alright, this is another level. Oh, he didn't make it. Oh, door closed. Okay, that one's dead. Jeez. This is Hangar. This is the very first level in the first Doom game. I think. Yeah. Isn't there like any other secret here? What there was. I recall there being a secret, but that could be another area I'm thinking about. I'm just beating up all these computers here. Just looking for a door. I mean, that's how you search for a door. You beat it up, right? You don't pull a knob or pull a switch. You just hit it with the butt of your gun. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. I think that was just it for this one. Or oh, wait. Alright, so I found two secrets so far. And I gotta find one more to get that weapon upgrade point. In fact, I think I'll get another one. Just, you know, because of how the challenges and the exploration thing is set up. I also have to kill two possessed with one. Oh yeah, I still gotta do that. Thought I did it earlier, but I remember that guy survived. And I remember, <laughs> excuse me. And I remember I did leap a armor back at that other secret. So let's go and pick that up. Or maybe not. Oh, there you go. Shut up. There we go. You never know, backtracking could be important. Oh wow. Ah, suicide bomber. Possessed engineers. That actually looks like a heart. Oh wait, where is he? I don't know, how do you... I guess you can't turn the enemies. All right. Hmm. It's like, based off of where I've been, I think I've found every secret up to this point so far. Hey, buddy. Okay, that counts as uh, the challenge. Pfft. 
totally missed that shot. Wow, he took a headshot and survived that. Oh, where's this guy? There he is. I'm hurt, I'm hurt. Ooh, that was close. I don't think I was trying to climb that. I think I was just trying to jump up to him. Give me some health. There's a secret up here, I think. It shows up on the map. Oh. Can I make that jump? No. Hmm. There we go. This. Wait, what was the point of up here? Was this just a vantage point in that fight that I totally missed? Ammo. I guess it was. Like, I could have just stood up here and taken out everybody. That's why we explore. We are explorers. Anything else? There's armor above me, but I think I can get up there normally through here. Dude. God. Not gonna lie, that kind of scared me a little bit. <sighs> chainsaw, give me that chainsaw. So basically, you use this, it uses up fuel, um, the amount of fuel depending on how big the enemy is, and they drop ammo if you kill them. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> I don't really need ammo right now, but it's great to have. Ooh, I want some food. Cheeseburger, hot dog, french fries, pizza. Pancakes, breakfast. Ooh, apple pie. So if I press circle in front of all these, I get them. At least that's what it says, right? Press circle. <laughs> Although I'm actually thirsty, but I got my water. Always stay hydrated. Shut up, you scared me. Need some help. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was Nim. Wow, man, these guys are hurting me. Shoot. 
Ooh, perfect. Ooh, see, that was a head stomper one. I remember there's a level later on where you have to get like 20 of those or something like that in the, uh, within the mission. This just heals you. I'm gonna wait because I still hear somebody. But it only heals you once. Once you use it, it's done. Okay, that's everybody. Yeah, beat it up first. Health stations. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so what do we got going on here? We have a Praetor token and some armor in that room. And some other stuff. How do I get in there? So there might be some switch I gotta pull to open this. Connection error. It's offline. No! Oh, and then we gotta follow this guy. I can't because that's locked. Oh shoot, oh shoot, do not get caught in that. If I recall, that actually kills you, but I'm supposed to go in there, I think. Uh, I get it now. Gotta figure out how to open this door. I don't want to, like, progress too far ahead and then miss it. Because that, that can happen. Yeah, now the game's telling me, oh, you're supposed to go over here. You idiot. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's continue and see what happens. Go in here. I actually can't move. Oh, yeah, I can. But there's nothing there. All right, so let's go. All right, let's just continue. I should be able to come back. Hold on. Was there something down here? No, that ju oh, that just closed this. Okay. <laughs> I thought there may have been like a hidden room that you can go down in. All right. So yeah, you got to be very... Uh, discreet when you look in like every little room you're into because there could be like a hidden secret that you might miss um, so it looks like I'm going to be ending up in that room that was right next the room that was locked so maybe there's a switch in there that unlocks that door You're possessed. They're down here. I'll drop down just a minute. See what's up here. Oh shoot. Ah. Okay, there's that door. No, the laser doesn't disappear. All right, let's drop down, I guess. Well, first, let me kill these guys. I, I, I'm going to level up that charge shot. There you go. Decreases the time it takes to power up. Decreases the recovery time for the pistol after using... Move at full... Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, decreases the time it takes to power up. There you go, it's a little faster now. There we go. Boom. Oh, 
All right, so let's look around in here. Is this the room? There's a Praetor token down there. But there's also one in that room there, and I don't want to miss it. <coughs> okay, so that guy came in through here. Where do you go now? Hey, oh, you know, I probably got to push that switch again. Which I got to find a yellow key card for. So, I guess I continue on over here. That's locked. All right. I hope I can come back. Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, it's one of those gore nests. Okay. Did I shoot that and actually get him? No. There you are. Okay, there's a few guys here still. But that didn't feel good. Probably gonna wanna blow these up before I get in a firefight. Well, that's not, that's not an explosive barrel. <laughs> Good thing I don't have ammo in this thing, right? Alright, let's do this. Ooh, that hurt. That was a direct shot. Lost all my armor and everything. Damn, dude. Come on. I thought he was going to fall through the stairs there for a minute. That would have been an interesting glitch. Which, this game actually is pretty well polished. I'm pretty sure in my playthroughs of this game I've come across a few glitches here and there, but... There definitely haven't been like so many crazy glitches that have been easily noticeable. Alright, so I killed everybody. Awesome. Pick that up. There's that guy, I saw him. Let me see, there's a Praetor token right out over here. Where is that? Oh, it's... It's over here. Huh. Let's see if I can get it. He went in there. Alright, I saw where he went. Let's just continue. Oh, there it is. Tell the elevator, hurry! There, how's it going? So where are we going? There's a field drone right here, actually. Which gives me the charge shot for the shotgun. Cool. So I have that, now I can use the, uh, the charge shot. So you press up and you can, okay, so if you press up you can change the mod. So this is the explosive. And this is the charge shot. So it shoots like like that. Again, I wouldn't use something like that against an imp. 
I would probably use it as crowd control, but because you saw I used up three of my shots. Okay, here's the yellow key card. I don't know if I was supposed to get scared there. Ah! <laughs> If anything, that was that was kind of cute. Any other? I still gotta find three secrets. I haven't found any. I've only found two. Hey, Imp, how's it going? Oh, I'm back in this room. I still haven't un unlocked this door, but I did unlock this door. Access granted. Which, this looks like progress. So wait. I recall you opened this door. I'm gonna go back, hold on. I recall you opened that door. And that in turn opens the locked door. Right? And there's that other prayer token I totally missed. Oh, no way, I got the yellow key card. I have to go back to this room to get that secret. Okay, totally forgot. Well, I didn't forget because I'm coming back, but I forgot why I was coming back. So you could totally miss this. This is totally missable. Okay, so now that door's unlocked, so that means the other door should be unlocked too? No, that one's still closed. How do I get in there then? Do I get in from the back? Can you break this? Wait, is that... I haven't been up there yet. How do I get up there? Let's get back up there. I haven't been up there yet. Oh, this is unlocked. Well, maybe it's down here. Oh, I found a secret though, and that, that's a weapon upgrade point because I completed the challenge. Oh, shoot. Ah, there's a Prager token right here. Okay, cool. That Oh, this was that one that was through that wall that I was looking at earlier. I thought I had the grenade launcher equipped. Whoops. Let's pick up this Prager token. Uh, let's see, what do we got? I need two to upgrade this one. I need two and I need one. What's this one? Decrease explosive barrel environmental damage. Oh yeah, that was a pain. So I'm <coughs> definitely going to use that. <coughs> so wait, that was it down here? Oh yeah, I got to get back up to the top and see what that was about. What's up here? Oh, you know what? There's that. What's over here? 
Ooh. I'll take that. It's a plasma rifle. Sweet. Hey, Sushi, how you doing? Doom is treating me uh, pretty well right now. I'm trying to figure out this one secret that this locked door uh, in the other room. How are you doing, Sushi? Thank you for the follow earlier. I got the notification. I'm doing quite well. I'm just... Um, That is no problem. Thank you for the follow. See, there's this locked door and I'm trying to figure out how to get through it. I feel like there's another way in and I'm just, yeah, like there's a thing up there. So I have to get back up to the top floor. <laughs> it's all good. I, I do enjoy the puzzle solving, so that's that's not a problem. But anyways, I, I've been doing well. I've been playing this for a little over an hour, an hour and 17. Ooh, I wonder if that's it. Or is that, I think the elevator just takes me up there. So, uh, did, you streamed earlier, right? I think I saw you were streaming. Um, how did that go? Did you have a good time? So am I up here now? Yes. So now I should be able to get into that one room. Okay, so this area is blocked off. Oh, it's in here. Ooh, I totally did not. Oh, because this door was locked. Okay. So you're expected to like round trip after you unlock that one door. Yeah, see, we're getting somewhere. Okay, and this leads to that room. Okay, cool. Which, wait, it's armor. Nope, I can't get it from here. I don't want to jump down just yet. So how do I get to that door? Oh, that looks like something else out there. The stream went well. I played Operation Raccoon City for the first time with some friends. It was fun, but that game is rough. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know if I ever want to play that game. I was watching uh, Terror Scope um, play it, and I had never actually seen that game. I had only heard about it. I heard it was god-awful. And one of the things that he brought up was the whole that you... Um, when you shoot somebody and they don't flinch, and I was like, oh, man, that, that, that just sounds terrible. And just watching him play it, it was like, oh. And now, because it came out at around the same time that Resident Evil 6 came out, it makes me appreciate Resident Evil 6 quite a bit more. I mean, I didn't hate Resident Evil 6. I actually really enjoyed it. But after seeing that, I was like, oh, man, I actually enjoy Resident Evil 6 a lot more now. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, so this is interesting. Because this was closed off. Yeah, it looks like it. I may do it just for the... I may play through it just for the lulls, just to say, hey, I got some trophies from this game, but seriously, it's like... That was just... looked like it was a big old mess. Alright, I'm just gonna go through the secret. Maybe something over here will open up so I can get that armor. And that looks like a secret, and I don't want to miss out on weapon upgrade points. Alright, we're gonna drop down. Secret. How many do I have left? I have two left on this level armor and this is what I mostly came for sweet got a Praetor token and I'm gonna hang on to it because I only got one and I need two to do the next upgrade so is that it? is that all that was in here? 
if you have friends you can rope into it it would be more bearable on your end yeah that's true i th i think playing horrible games with friends kind of just makes it an easier time i guess I guess that's everything that's in here. Definitely. Sweet. We are out of there. So that's it. So. Oh, you know what? Oh, shoot. Do I have to go all the way back? I think I figured it out. Let's go all the way back. Because it could be another secret I'm missing. How much more of this level do I have? I still have quite a bit. Well, shoot. I actually have quite a bit of this level left. And there's only two secrets I'm missing? So, like, the rest of this level is going to be mostly straightforward. Uh, <laughs> shaking in the elevator. Oh, yeah, and I have the plasma rifle. Which, speaking of weapons, how many weapon upgrade points do I have? I have four. I don't have anything for the plasma rifle, though, so let's leave it. Let's go over here, which takes me... No, this does not take me to the armor. Okay, what am I missing? That's a dead part. Or it's not a dead part, but that's too high of a fall. That room actually looks like that one room from before when I got into that firefight. Yeah, so it's out here. So this is something completely different. Is that something I can shoot? No? Hmm. Or does it have to do with this? Oop. Come on, Doom Dude, you got this. There you go. So. Oh, I can't jump. Ah, I'm dead. I lied. I'm fine. <laughs> My life was in peril for a minute there. God. So can I make that jump to that thing? Nope. I feel like I can grab it though. I may be doing this all wrong, too. I don't know. If I can't grab it, then I'm just going to move on. But I really don't want to. <laughs> Is there something else I'm missing? Oh, nope, oh, I got it. Make it. There we go. Now I gotta make this jump. We got it. I did it, guys. First time. Actually, it was. I didn't die. I mean, I don't even need the armor. But I was hoping it would count as a secret, and I don't think it did. But the fact that I know how to, how to get that now is will be important if I ever plan to play this on Nightmare Mode, because there's a good chance I'm going to need that armor. Alright, so I think I did everything here. Let us continue. It should have been, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's the heavy assault rifle. I really like this weapon.
Once again, I don't have any uh, field drones. Are there any field drones left on this level? No, there's not. But there is an Argent Cell and a Praetor Token somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? Shot that way too low. Oh, they're all stunned, but they're not dying. There you go. Oop, ran out of ammo. Speaking of ammo, there you are. Come here. Give me that ammo. They only gave me 72 plasma shots. Berserk, let's go. Come here, buddy. Come on, I just want to give you a high, high five to the face. Yeah, the splitting headaches suck. I'm sorry. And that was all. I had to be careful because I was getting surrounded there. Wee. Music's still going, so someone's... Ah, there you are. Oh, this guy. Shoot. I remember this guy. Oh, he's dead. Possessed security. Give me that armor. Music's still going. Who's still alive? Boom. There we go. That was everybody. Okay, so this is a wide open place. What have we got here? Oh, there's a health station back there I totally missed. Am I good on health? I'm great on health. I did that pretty well. What I need is ammo. Oh, that gives a shotgun. Okay. Anything over here? Let's see. Looks like there's an area there, but it looks like I get to it from here, so that's not a problem. That's where I'm supposed to go. Alright, so let's continue.
Hey buddy, stop sleeping on the job. dare you do this to me? There's a Doom doll there. Hmm, let's see. Looks like I can reach it from outside actually, so let's let's try that. So where is it? right over here oh hey guys so wait was I supposed to come out here anyways Okay, cool. Where's the doll from here? It is over here. There we are. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, Doom Guy. We got the Doom Guy doll. That kind of is a secret, too, so I got one more secret left in this level. Is this just another way up here, or no? It looks like there's something over here. Or not. That's weird. Yeah, this is just another way up here. Dude, stop sleeping on the job. Alright, uh, Samuel, Hayden, where do I go? Oh, I go over there now. Alright. Okay, so you blocked my access. I guess I get out of here. Okay, yeah, this moves, so and I can go through here. Yeah, I'm away. I also like how you kind of just froze there after I punched you. Ooh, don't can't jump over that. Okay then. could like jump over these platforms if you're not careful. Got some plasma rounds. Take that. Who are you shooting at? I want some food. So there's one more secret. I 
hope it's not that, because it wouldn't let me go. Well, I guess we'll find out. Mountain Dew. That is a room, though. Hey, buddy. This room's unlocked. That's it. Ammo. Okay. This was not a secret. Actually, let's start using this. Oh, that was actually a update on the enemy. Where are those? It'll shield bass if it gets close enough, so stay, stay away from them, basically. Okay. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Love doing the glory kills. Just so brutal. Oh, he's still alive. There we go. You survived a grenade explosion. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. There's a thing here. Prayer token. It's awesome, but that was not a secret. I also have two of these, so let's upgrade something. Let's go to this. The compass will pulse when near secret areas. Cool, because I'm looking for the last secret. Decrease the recharge duration for equipment. Nah, I'm not worried about that right now. Decrease weapon self damage. Not worried about that now because I don't have the rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use this. The compass will post when near, will pulse when near secret areas. More ammo. Which I'm like at the end of the, oh, you know what? The secret area might be that little thing up there. Okay. I hope so. Oh wow, he dodged. And he's still alive. That looks like it should be something. here. Oh, there's another Doom doll. Is this the secret? Yes, okay. Cool. Found all the secrets on this mission. Awesome. And it was also a Doom doll. What, which one's this one? Bronze guy. All right, so that's every secret on this mission, which gives me, uh, 
No, there's an Argent cell I'm missing. Oh, oh no, that, I think that's story related. So I found, completed all three challenges, found all the secrets, so that means I got five weapon upgrade points from this level. Now, fortunately, I don't really have any uh, weapon mods for these weapons, so I kind of want to hold on to them till I can get something for one of these. Because I don't want to use it on that right now, and I don't want to use it on that right now, since I already have an upgrade on these. So I'm going to hold on to them. I'll hold on to them for future use. I remember there's like a little mini uh, missile launcher thing that you can get with this weapon here that I really like. And if I recall, there's a weapon upgrade that allows you to use uh, um, more rocket, more missiles, basically. And I want to, I want to get that immediately. It's a gift. Oh yeah, here it is—the Argent Cell. It is a gift. I'm the Doom dude. I can, I can withstand anything. We are going to put it on health. Just straight up. Good. I want a rocket launcher and a BFG. Oh, that too. Samuel Hayden thinks I'm a pawn in his game. So anyway, let's do what he says. Oh yeah, that. And I think that's the end of this mission. Any like ammo, health, armor that I can use before I finish up this mission? Nope. Alright. We are done with this mission. Woo! Got everything. <laughs> oh boy. Uh. Alrighty, that was fun. That'll do it for me. Um, oh, I got some text. Awesome. Alrighty, I hope everyone had themselves a, a good, I uh, hope everyone's having a good day and I hope y'all enjoyed uh, um, everything here, so. Let's see if I can do this, let's see if I can raid, I don't know if, how to do this on here. So, I want to raid. 
Does that work? Did it work? I don't think it worked. Uh, I'll have to get this figured out, but anyways, um, or hold on, me. I know now I don't need the keyblade. I've got a better weapon. I have to learn how to do all this. This is all new to me. Alrighty, um, everyone take care and have yourselves a good one. I will stream again, uh, looking for maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I will stream the part two of Doom. So, um, so hope you all enjoyed it and have yourselves a good one.